Hello, uh, my name is Noah Trapp. Uh, we are here with the Spillo, the smart alarm clock pillow that uh, helps you wake up in a variety of ways. For our main requirements, we have that the pillow shall vibrate, shall light up, shall heat up, uh, it shall have multiple levels of brightness, it will heat up to a comfortable temperature, it shall not burn the user, it shall make noise, and it shall have the capacity to set a wake up time and a sleep time. Uh, it shall communicate with the user interface and shall display the time and the user shall be able to stop the time. Hello, this is Taegyun Kim and I'm in charge of yeah. sensor parts. Uh, hello, my name is Myung Sun Park and I'm in charge of user interface subsystem. Hi, I'm Sehun Kim and I'm in charge of the power subsystem. This is our video showing all the peripherals the peripheral subsystem as well as the power subsystem. So one of the requirements is to show 3.3 volts for the output of the regulator. So connecting this, show it's 3.4 volts, 3.3, which is good. You also have the motor going, the LED on, as well as the speaker. So all of the requirements are met uh, with the wall charger. For this PCB, every all all the requirements are able to meet, except for the Bluetooth module sending the data. So, after I press the reset button, the display shows set current time, and with the keypad, I can press. Let's say it's um, 0005 and it shows different options. If I go to settings, I can set bedtime set and wake up time set. So if I want to set uh, bedtime, uh, if I do 0708, it goes to um, which options to choose for to wake uh, for the bed bedtime options. So if I choose A and B, it shows that for S represents sleep time and W represents wake up time. So I chose A and B options for sleep time. So it, it, it updates S, A, B. And when I set it up the wake up time, it also updates W, A, B, C, D, or W, A, B, whatever I, whatever the user chooses. So this, this shows that I met um, the pillow shell be able to choose which options to wake them up and the pillow shell have the capability to set sleep time and wake up time. The, the pillow shell display the current time. That feature was working before I soldered this keypad. So now it works as... So if I press current time as 0508, and if I press display the time, it, it shows like weird characters. It it was it used to show the right characters, but it's not showing it anymore. Uh, so if I move to this breadboard, so this is demonstration on breadboard to meet other requirements. So if I set current time as zero 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 five, and if I select display the current time, it displays the current time. 
and press D to exit. And if I set 0, 05, 0, 06 as current time, it also displays the current time correctly. Also, um, whenever the alarm is set, it needs to send data through, to, through this Bluetooth module, and I'm going to demonstrate that now. So if I set my current time as, let's say, 0002, 0008, and go to settings, and if I do uh, wake up time, and 0009, and if I choose A, B, C as options, uh, it shows alarm set complete, and on this on this Bluetooth terminal, after the alarm time reaches, it will send the correct data. And I chose three options, which were, which were A, B, and C. So it should show A, B, and C on this terminal after one minute. And now you see that W, A, B, and C showing. W represents wake up time and it also shows A, B, and C options. Uh, also, lastly, and this data will be received by our main microcontroller uh, through the same Bluetooth module. Thank you. So we have the power subsystem in the power bottom right corner with the power barrel jack. We have the in the upper right corner area the sensors subsystem with the different connectors to connect to the different sensors. We have the microcontroller here in the upper left. And we also have the Bluetooth module here to communicate with the user interface. Thank you. Uh, in the middle, there's a microcontroller STM32 F091, and this is a battery 4.5 volts that is converted to 3.3 volt with this buck converter. And we have the connections to keypad to here, and we also have connections to LCD display shown here.